This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Let's get right into the news. Well, Tory Lanez is reportedly scared for his life being only five foot three in jail. I would be scared for my life too, okay? Plus you're a celebrity. Uh, you know, he should be scared for his life. He's crazy if he's not. <laughs> What's the issue here? I mean, he wants to get back to his kids and his family. I mean, this is... I don't get why this is like, oh my God, he's scared for his life. No, I would be scared for my life in jail too. Imprisoned, okay? Sorry. Chris Brown faces $2 million uh, suit over $2 million unpaid restaurant loan for Pie Pies. He opened two Pie Pies, took out $2 million in a loan in Atlanta, I guess. And they served him in California, so... Pay up, Chris. Pay up. Doja Cat Scarlet is on pace to sell 55K first week. I saw a funny meme. Where is that meme? It was funny. Imagine selling your soul for 55K first week sales. It's crazy. It's true. It's true. Never forget Nikki's husband was out here threatening Offset while he was on stream with Kai Cena. <laughs> Supposedly, Drake's supposed to be on stream with Kai tomorrow. We'll see. Um, sweetie, this is disgusting. Take your nails off. Who needs nails that are 12 inches long? I mean, she's basically Edward Scissorhands over here trying to eat. <laughs> I can't get my food for some reason. Yeah, because of your 12-inch nails that have been just collecting dust, dirt. And, and germs all day, and you're gonna eat your fry. Yeah, come on. What, what do you do? You want us to believe you're washing each nail before you eat? Yeah, right. Uh, Shannon Sharp tells Stephen A. Smith on their, you know, when they were doing a podcast together, that the level of disrespect would not be tolerated on F1. You know, they, they would cut him off, they wouldn't let him speak, blah, blah. You know, it's true. It was true. Um, it was, you know, Skip Skip wasn't respecting him. It was getting a little out of hand. I saw Gene Deal talking about Diddy's not helping G-Dep. Why would he help a killer? G-Dep admitted to a cold case of shooting somebody point blank on his bike in 1993. And he admitted to it two decades later, so in 2013. He's doing 15 years to life in prison. He's able to, uh, he's doing, he's doing, uh, wait, who just got 30 years? He's doing less time than that guy from that 70s show for killing somebody. That guy just took advantage of a woman. This guy killed somebody, G'd up. Why would Diddy help him? I don't get it. Gene Deal said the only two artists to ever get over on Diddy, this guy really hates Diddy, bro. <laughs> It's another level. Uh, he hates him so much. Uh, basically, he says two art artists only got over on Diddy was Mace and Big. I guess Mace because, you know, he was able to, like, exit with cash. I guess something like that. But Then we got Joe Budden versus Adam22. Supposedly, Joe Budden won't drop his Tasha K interview because Cardi B said don't drop it. Tasha K has been very vocal about that. Um, and then kind of saying, oh, I know why people don't mess with you. I flew all the way to Jersey and you didn't drop it. Adam 22 dropped his. And uh, Adam 22 had some, <laughs> some things to say about Joe Budden. Because Joe Budden is very critical Adam 22 unfairly, let's just say. You know, it's like Joe Budden has a personal problem with Adam 22 for some reason. But let's uh, let's see what Adam says right here. This game on my back right now. Joe Budden had Tasha K come all the way out to Jersey and do a multiple hour interview. She was happy about it when I seen her and he's not dropping it. He's scared to death of Cardi B. He's scared to death of Offset. He don't want to have another run-in in the mall with the QC goons like he did. Remember, Everyday Struggle was actually really entertaining before QC told him that he wasn't allowed to talk about their artists anymore. 
And that's when you saw him really simmer down, brought the temperature down a whole lot. But, I mean, if, you, if you're Tasha Kay and you went all the way to Jersey to do an interview that when I talked to her, she was real happy about the interview, and he's not dropping it because he's scared of Cardi B. Like, what kind of shit is that? I, that's not why I got in the podcast game. I didn't get in the podcast game to be running around acting like a hoe. Ho button, you acting like a hoe. And nobody respects it. Your fans are losing interest because you're not keeping it real. Man, I got the podcast. Now, more than ever, it's important that we support real, independent media. Well, you know, Joe's going to respond to that. And then we got... That's it. Anyways, guys, this is Jordan Tao with JT News. I appreciate you all. I will check you guys in the next one. Peace.